Okay, so good morning guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to, whatever you are doing, and welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Beard of Berserker. <sighs> Hope you're all alright out there. Before I start, massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you guys out there that's watching my videos, liking my videos, enjoying on enjoying them and my content and commenting on them. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because everything I've set up on my Instagram and YouTube channel is not about me. It's about trying to help promote, advertise, and basically encourage and nurture these small brands and craftsmen out there that are making some amazing products, whatever it might be. Beard products, skin products, hair products, jewelry, clothing, all sorts of bits and pieces, as opposed to these huge, massive, faceless brands and everything out there. Now, don't get me wrong, I have not got a problem with them as such, but their products, they seem to kind of like soul. The, the massive brands know that as soon as they slap their sort of name tag on the side, people will just go out and buy it because it's got their name on there. So these smaller brands and craftsmen have to work infinitely harder in order to get their products out onto the market because they know as soon as they do, they'll be in direct competition with each and every other single brand out there as well as these massive brands. So it's all about support and encouraging and helping them and doing my best to help and support wherever I possibly can. Now, also, thank you for following me over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt, as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel. With each and every review that I do, stuff that I go out and buy myself, stuff that gets sent through to me, I am completely, 100% honest with them, okay? Because I, I say this each and every single time, but it's true. I'm the same as you guys, I am a consumer. I go out, I work a full-time job, pennies that I get sent through from earning or ones that I've got left after paying all the bills and stuff like that. There is nothing worse than going out and buying something, whatever it might be in life, you get it home and it just doesn't live up to expectations. You don't use it, you don't like it, and it just sits there on the shelf gathering dust or you just bin it or give it to somebody you don't particularly like. So I do this, all my reviews are completely honest. It's all my own honest opinion. I'm completely unbiased. I'm not affiliated to any of these brands or whatsoever. So if there's something I love about a product, I'll say why I like it. If there's something I don't particularly like about a product, I will say reasons why I don't like it. As with all the reviews that I do on my channel, I will be putting links down below in the description box. So please give me a shout out, a look and a follow. Uh, if it's something that floats your boat. And I have another review for you this morning, funnily enough, which is why I'm here. I need my glasses for this so I can read my notes because I'm an old git. And without them I can't see bugger all. Now, I've done a little review for this chat before. It's from the UK. We're back to beard products again. And this is from The Bald Viking. So it sent through a new beard oil that just recently released business card and everything. We're gonna have a look at the product itself, the packaging of it, the ingredients, the oil itself, the price of it, and then afterwards scoring it out of 20, which is how I do it. 20, absolutely fantastic. 10, mediocre, nothing to write home about, same as everything else. Zero, I wouldn't touch it with a shitty stick. So that's how I score it. 20, 10, zero, and anywhere in between. And so here we go. Now, the first review that I done for the Bald Viking, or I did for the Bald Viking, uh, was the Forest of Valhalla Beard Oil. This was the first one that he's bought out. Really nice oil. And he's now come out with a new one. I believe there's another new one coming out and releasing very soon. This one is called The Shield Maiden, which... There you go, so that is what was actually sent through. There's a little business card here with all the links, uh, Facebook, Instagram, how to email and website. Like I say, I will be putting all the links down below in the description box, so please give them a look up and a follow and a help and encourage and support. Just suddenly realized the top was off from this, which is not a good thing, because that could have been a horrible video. So, Comes in a green glass bottle, jade glass bottle, whatever you want to call it. And the reason that you tend to find a lot of beard oils and stuff in coloured bottles is out there through the window and from the sun of these 
very harmful UV rays that if they can get into your bottle, they'll break down and degrade all the, all the oils inside, which is to, why you tend to find sort of the amber glass, colored bottles, green bottles, Bristol blue bottles and opaque bottles, very, very rarely clear bottles. As with all beard oils, always make sure you store them in kind of like a dark, cooler place as opposed to on the shelf in direct sunlight. And this is a 50 ml bottle. I know it's a 50 ml bottle because I know what 50 ml bottles look like. And it's also got 50 mils written on there. So I know that. Got a rubber pipette on the end, which is my preferred method of delivering beard oil to my hands before I throw it over me face. Um, don't have a problem with the pump bottles. The ones I'm not particularly keen on are the ones with a little stem on there, the hollow stem that you tap and the beard all comes out and it's just so hard to gauge. Because as a rule, I tend to use six to seven beard drops in the morning, uh, beard oil drops in my hand in the morning for my beard. After I've washed it, seven to eight drops, and maybe a couple of drops um, before bed. Uh, because I do work in a hot, sweaty, sticky environment, so it's always good to keep your skin and beard nourished and sort of like replace some of those oils and everything up from it. The actual design is you've got the bald Viking skull with the... There you go. On the front of it, the bearded bald skull. And you've got on the side, premium beard oil with all natural products. The Shield Maiden beard oil www.baldviking.com and you've also got the label on it which has got all your ingredients because they're all in small batches you've got the batch number as well on the back which is nice so it can all be traced um, there you go and on the front so really really nice same sort of labeling as the other one I believe this one is the well obviously it's the newer one because it's the one that's just been released uh, slightly different labeling but the same logo on it which is nice really really nice easy to read nice to see you've got the ingredients on there everything it should be so packaging wise looks really really nice so if i take the top off let's have a look at the scent so the scent on this is allegedly patchouli bergamot and lime and ingredients wise in this bottle of oil you've got castor oil sweet almond oil and your essential oils bearing in mind that all beard skin hair cosmetics and stuff like that in the uk and europe have to have cpsr test done on which is cosmetic product safety reports cpsr test done on it to basically go through the procedures to make sure that what they put inside is safe to use. Now I still would recommend doing a tester patch before you use any form of cosmetic, beard oil, skincare and stuff like that, just in case you have an allergic reaction. Nowadays you can have allergic reactions to just about anything. And so always do a test patch first because you wouldn't want to put it all over your face and suddenly turn into a vampire or zombie or werewolf or something like that. And so always do a test batch first. The same with the first, uh, the, which one's this one, sorry? The Forest of Valhalla, which I reviewed. I've had no problems with either, no allergies or anything whatsoever. So good ingredients, natural ingredients, which is nice to see because it shouldn't be full of chemicals and shit like that. So this is pretty much a clear liquid. I'll put a few drops on my hand. I have, believe it or not, done my beard this morning before i done the review because I don't want to come online looking like some sort of, like I've been dragged through a bush backwards. So it's quite a medium to thick liquid, not very thin. Scent wise, patchouli, bergamot and lime. Now I know exactly what this smells like because I have tried it, I've used it, I know exactly what it's like so I can give you guys my honest opinion. I'm not one of these people that enjoys doing unboxing videos because how are you supposed to know what something's like if you haven't used it, tried it, etc. And straight off the bat, patchouli, bergamot and lime. Exactly what the scent profile is supposed to be like, which is great because there's nothing worse than going out and buying a beard oil that supposedly smells of strawberry cheesecake. You get it through and it smells of I don't know, lemon cheesecake, if you know what I mean. So I'll always do a scent test and I also get my wife to smell it as well to see if she can smell it. Because as individuals, we all smell different sorts of scents and stuff like that. And some people pick up more different sorts of scents than others will pick up. So it's nice to get 
a bit of input as well. Now, like I say, it's quite a decent thick oil. It's not a ridiculously thin piss off your hand and on the floor and down your trousers and jeans. And scent profile wise, you've got down here on my chart, which is very, very subtle. Medium, rip your head off, kick it into next week and smack it with a bat. For me personally, I would say this is a good three quarters of the way up here. Now, the first oil that I reviewed, uh, the Forest of Valhalla, that was kind of a medium one, but this one has got a bit more of a punchier scent to it, which is nice because I do like my punchier scents. And there's nothing worse than putting a beard oil on, it smells all right in your hands and everything like that, and within half an hour it's disappeared. And this scent is lasting a good three to maybe four hours before I cannot smell it anymore. But I have been informed by my boss, my wife, um, that she can still smell it when I come home from work, so that's good. And it's a nice scent. Like I say, all the scent profiles, the patchouli, the bergamot and the lime, really, really uplifting, rich, vibrant sort of scent to it. It's a very autumny, winter sort of scent, if you know what I mean. Really, really nice. Everything's well balanced. You can pick out each and every individual scent profile from that. So there's not one that's stronger than the other. The lime, the bergamot, and the patchouli work extremely well together. And it's a really nice beard oil. Soaks into my skin very, very quickly and into my hair. Leaves it nice and conditioned as well. As you can see, my beard's got a natural kink in it. It comes in at the side, then goes that way, and then sort of back down the front. I do straighten it every morning, but I, I am getting to the point where it's like, well, if this is the natural way that it sits now, what's the point in trying to straighten it and do it nice? I will just, that's the way it wants to be. Because I don't know whether you found that, whether you've got beard. Some people grow, because all everyone's beard is completely different, if you know what I mean. Some grow dead straight, some are, pardon the expression, curly like pubes and everything else. Technically, it's the same sort of hair as down below anyway. Some people's got natural curves and waves and stuff in it. And mine does. I will try and straighten it and it will come out really, really nice for the first hour and everything like that. And by the end of the day, it's kind of got this sort of natural, goes that way and then comes back down again. And I'm getting to the point now, it's like, what is the point of me straightening it? Putting my hair through this every day of dampening it, straightening it and everything else and heat damage and stuff like that. Just let it grow the way it is. And believe it or not, um, I've only had my beard hair trimmed once, uh, which was March last year, and it's nearly two years coming up for next March that I'll have it trimmed twice. So this is literally the length of it for me after two years of pretty much solid growing, apart from just a bit of a neat and tidy up in March of last year. But I just want to see what it looks like after two or three years just kind of trim it occasion, very occasionally just to kind of keep it looking half decent. But anyway, back to the oil. Really, really nice scent. Nice and thick, uh, sort of medium to thick viscosity on it. The scent profile is brilliant. And it's nice as well, they're Norse inspired as well, which is nice because as you know, I'm into the whole Viking thing and everything like that. I like the labeling, I like the fact that everything is done in small batches and there is a batch number on the back so that he can trace it should there be any problems and stuff like that so he knows exactly which batch it comes from. I think it's extremely well made even if you look at the oil inside it's not a ridiculously runny oil it's quite a nice thick viscosity the scent lasts for ages and it's quite a nice punchy scent. Shield Maiden I can understand why he's called it Shield Maiden because of the whole Vikings thing and everything like that. Not that hopefully Shield Maidens have beards because, and even though it's called Shield Maiden, I wouldn't say obviously it's a feminine scent. It's got that lime sort of zing citrusy kick to it, and the earthy patchouli and the bergamot as well. But it's a one of the. I actually prefer this one than I do like my favourite scents of all of these deep woody scents. Not so much pine because there is. a I do have a problem with pine when it starts smelling like floor disinfectant and stuff like that. Um, but I really love my deep woody scents and everything like that. But I actually prefer this one. It's actually got a lot of zing to it. And it's really nice. You stick it on your beard in the morning, kind of instant poof and hit, which is what I like in a beard oil and not something very, very subtle. 
And Sol's great if you're wearing cologne and aftershave like that and you don't want the two conflicting each other. But I, t I would prefer to have a beard oil that smells quite strongly than to not have it and then have to worry about aftershave and stuff like that. And for a 50ml bottle, 50ml bottle, £7, which is very, very cheap considering the product. I would quite happily pay 10 maybe £15 for this because it is well made. I love the scent on it. And one thing I do like about the Bull Viking is the fact that he's so passionate and interested in what he's doing. With some of these brands and stuff like that, I'm not saying all small brands, massive brands and stuff like that, that's what you get. Not interested in it, that's what we've made. But with this chap at the Bull Viking, it's constantly, what do you think? Should it be stronger smelling? Can you smell all the scents in it? Does it? Do you think it's reasonably priced? Do you think it could be expensive, cheaper and stuff like that? Which is really nice as opposed to just knocking stuff out and going, well, that's the price it is, that's how it smells, get on with it. He's really interested in kind of like people's thoughts and ideas on what he is doing, which is great. And I can't see any anything better than going to the consumers that are going to be buying your products and saying, what do you think? Which is kind of, I, su I suppose, why he sent it through to me, because I'll give him honest feedback as the same as I'm giving you guys honest feedback. If there was something I didn't like about it, if it was supposed to be patchouli, bergamot and lime and it smelled of patchouli, bergamot and no lime, it's like, well, I can't smell lime in it. The missus can't smell any lime in it either. But all three of those scents are very well pronounced. It's a very fresh, vibrant smelling oil. Like I say, it's well up there on the three quarters of my scent scale chart. And for £7, you can't complain. Bear it in mind, I'm going to use seven to eight drops of that. Eight drops if, I've, if I'm washing my beard. Six to seven drops on a daily basis. So it's going to last ages. It's no money whatsoever, in my opinion. I think it's a very well-made product. And when it comes to scoring it, um, I, would, I think this is better in my opinion, because we're all entitled to our own opinions. This one, to me, I prefer more than the Forest of Valhalla. I'm just going to have another test of the Forest of Valhalla. Just make sure the scent is off in the other one. Wipe it my arms off the tunes. Give it a shake. And when you do buy beard oils and stuff like that, don't go sniffing them out from the bottle. Always put a little bit in your hand first before you smell it, because the heat from your hands kind of helps to awaken and generate the scents and everything. It's a really nice wooden scent, woody scent, the Forest of Valhalla one. Really, really nice. I would have scored them both on the kind of same sort of level, if, in, if you know what I mean. This one is more of your mid-range sort of scent, the Forest of Valhalla. It's a ridiculously nice scent, really well put together, sort of sprucey, pine, cedar woody scent. But I would have perhaps liked, personally for myself, to have seen that one a bit higher up and matching as this one, um, which they're both really, really nice scents. The same sort of oil consistency because they because he uses the same base oils and everything. But just pipping it for me is the Shield Maiden because it's that bit more zingy, a bit more wake you up in the morning. Really nice scent, so I have no problems whatsoever with scoring this straight up. 20 out of 20, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I defy anybody to go out and buy this and not be happy with what you're getting because it's it's well made, it's a nice beard oil, I've had no allergic reactions to it, it's leaving my skin feel nourished, it's absorbing into my hair and skin very quickly. The scent is long lasting as well, it doesn't just put it on and it disappears. So yeah, straight up 20 out of 20, and I will be putting links down below to the Bald Viking. So if you have a beard, contemplate growing a beard, know a woman with a beard that's a shield maiden, then this is going to be right up her and your alley. Especially if you like your zingy sort of scents and everything. And very, very nice. And I couldn't thank the Bald Viking enough for sending that through. Fantastic work by himself. And... I hope you've enjoyed this review this morning. Now, I've got a few other reviews coming up over the next few days and everything, so please keep an eye out for those. If you are a small brand craftsman out there and you need any hand, any help, any hand, that makes no sense whatsoever. If you need any help, support, 
and stuff like that promoting please get in touch with me like I say drop us a message over there or on Instagram Viking Beard Matt over there all one word comment down below send us an email either because I do want to keep this going and obviously I've done coming up to about 250 reviews now I really want to keep this going it's very difficult at the moment because obviously there's only many, so many beard products that you can review and I don't want to have to shut this down because like I said from the beginning this is not about me this is about one old git sitting in front of his laptop on his own uh, taking a bit of initiative trying to help small brands and everything for free I don't charge for what I do um, I'm just here to try and help and promote and do the best that I can for other people and what's wrong with trying to help other people you know because with these big brands if a product doesn't work then it makes no awesome but with the smaller brands and craftsmen out there that a lot of their stuff they put so much time effort and money into these products that often it's make or break with them if you know what I mean so if they don't sell any and they have to stop doing it then the only alternative we're going to have left are these huge massive brands and stuff like that so we really need to do help and we really need to help and support them and encourage them and do what we can to help them so i would always advise buying from small brands as opposed to these massive brands and also the craftsmen out there and stuff like that and helping them out so thank you guys for that i hope you have enjoyed that i hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are please keep on taking care of each other keep on helping each other keep on looking after keep on supporting each other in a bubble keep on loving each other and growing those beards if you're growing a beard and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next review from me matt the bearded berserker have a good day guys thank you so much for your time thank you